Let's take a look at some of our DMX digital or analog input conditions. Starting with DMX. The DMX input condition will test whether the last received value for a particular DMX channel is within the specified range. So I select a channel, select a minimum and a maximum value. If the last received value is within my minimum and maximum range, the condition will pass true. Let's move now to our digital input. Digital input allows you to select a device, either the local contact closures on the MSC or a remote Rio. Once you've select that, you can select a specific input and then choose whether it's high or low. When you're working with a large number of contacts, sometimes checking between multiple states is more useful. This is where digital word comes in. The digital word condition allows you to test multiple of the digital inputs in a single condition. By clicking repeatedly on the numbers representing each input, you can specify whether it has to be low, high, or either. This is particularly useful if I need to have a condition which only fires if seven and one are high. I can use this condition to check the status of all of my inputs simultaneously without having to build a condition for each one. The last input we'll take a look at is analog input. Again, you select the location of this, either local or on a Rio, choose an input, and then select whether it's within a minimum or maximum range. This is useful for things like wind sensors in fountains, making sure that you're within a safe range to operate the fountain.